Well it certainly looks distinct the LC500 is a strong example of Lexus new design language, it looks kind of bolted to the floor, poured onto the road I like the look it's striking that grill that everybody's whining about doesn't bother my think the proportions and the shape are cool a crowd of neighbors who were in the demographic for one of these loved it I was a little surprised it didn't get more reactions from the general public during the week I had it, but everyone who commented liked it. This is exciting design. Lexus says the LC500 is a world-class prestige luxury coupe and a new era of uncompromising design and performance. I agree, at least about those first two items it's also $92,000 worth of world-class prestige just to start so get ready to pay for it it sits on an all-new platform too, which adds to the excitement, the front engine, rear drive GAL global architecture, luxury which will also underpin the next Lexus LS. This version of GAL uses a mix of steel, aluminum, some carbon fiber composite and a whole lot of suede, yet tips the scales at 4,280 pounds, according to the spec sheet I would have thought it would weigh less, considering all those lightweight materials overcoming that mass is a powerful 471 horsepower 5.0 liter V8 mated to a 10 speed automatic driving those rear wheels to take the whole rig from 0 to 60 in just 4.4 seconds its sister ship, which I did not drive, is the LC500H, a hybrid version making 354 total system horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds and stickering at $96,510. Fine, fine, enough context, what's it like to drive the thing? Well, it is not the next LFA it's not a supercar, it's not a sports car, it might not even be a grand touring car it's more of what marketeers used to call way back a personal luxury coupe, a modern day, high tech, high power descendant of the SC400, or, if you want it to be cruel, of the Lincoln Mark 7 Envy I took it up Angeles Crest Highway just to see if it was sporty, and while I tried to force it into sportiness, it steadfastly remained tuna boat luxurious. It plowed a little into corners here and there, and the steering required more tiny corrections than sportier cars I'd recently driven up here it felt just a little too heavy then I took it along Mulholland because I refused to believe the Angeles Crest Highway results even playing around with the Sport and Sport Plus functions, it remained heavy and luxurious, 